Good morning, good evening, afternoon. What's up, y'all? All right, so... Have we learned anything new uh, today that I didn't know yesterday? Looks like Priest and Rogue are at the same power level. I'm sure that uh, that upsets at least one person. Um, how's it going, Cannibal? Nilmar? Good morning. Hmm. I saw something interesting before I started the stream. I was looking at uh I was looking at cards and their stats. Right. I was looking to see what the <clears throat> what the highest performing cards in the meta were so far. Greg, I think I'm catching the ick. Finally getting to you, huh? I apologize. I apologize, Cannibal. I mean, but you are also we're kind of are kind of surrounded by the ick. Um because you have family members that <laughs> that uh also have it, right? So Maybe it's not all my fault, but I'm going to apologize anyway. So, one sec. All right. So, what do you notice about, like, the, the 10... There's, like, 15 cards here, right? Or something. If you look at the top... Draw on win rate cards of this of this expansion. Sorry, this patch. There's one card that um there's one card that catches my eye that piques my interest, and that's the Tigress Plush. The Tigress Plush. Probably single-handedly carries Paladin. Probably more so than the, um... More so than the the Painter's Brush. Like, both of them do have lifesteal. And they sort of work uh, very well together. But... This Divine Shield Rush thing... Having a lot of these and facing a lot of hunters, this card is like it, really good. I I I can't I can't <clears throat> over over. It seems like I cannot overstate how good it is in the meta right now. Um, Tiger's plush is a is one of the hard counters to. To Paladin, I'm sorry, to, to Hunter. And since there are a lot of Hunters, it's a good, it's a good meta. Or rather, it's a good, <clears throat> Paladin is a good class to draft because Hunter is so good. Which is why it has an above 50% win rate. It's also crazy that it has a higher drawn win rate and pick rate delta than Wild Spirits, Right? We complain about wild spirits and how busted the wild seeds are. But it just has no <laughs> it, it's it's not it's not as good as Tiger's Flush. Yeah. Outperforms that legendary that I had also. Oh my gosh, dude. This is so unreal. Anyways. Anyways, uh, we're not playing Paladin right now. <clears throat> I'm going to play some Death Knight. 
because we are offered priest and rogue, and now those classes are fallen way far down. I would like to win the game. I want to be able to draft at least one um, climactic necrotic explosion as well. I still think Rainbow is the best, the best rune com combination for Death Knight at the moment, because all the most important cards are pretty much all single rune. I didn't get a lot of. Um, I basically was a double rune Death Knight for my twelve win Death Knight run. Strangely enough. The last time I played Death Knight Rainbow, which was the last run, um, I had one unholy card, and it was the 3-2 taunt that copies itself if you have corpses. I don't know how to draft Hunter. It's my worst thoughts if I runs. Uh, you want to draft all the hand buff stuff and the death rattle synergy stuff. <clears throat> and, yeah. That's that's basically it. It should be fairly straightforward after that point. Like, also use deck trackers, use Firestone, use HS Replay, use anything that you can that'll that'll inform you on stats on cards. Where's Hunter at? Okay. Um. Patrick Pals is very good. I, I thought about this card um, <clears throat> last night. I was watching Save, and I think I think he had Patrick Pals in his in his Hunter deck. And I thought about like the total overall cost of this card. And this is pretty much Call of the Wild. But split out over however many turns you want to play it. So, yeah, that's very good. That's, I think that's a that's a good card in 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 the uh, in current current day Hearthstone. Mm -hmm. Are you gonna pick the thirty nine point nine win rate class? No, Dose is doing that right now, so I'm not gonna do that. Dose is Dose uh, can can play with those classes. I will elect not to and try to draft Necrotic and Climatic Explosion. That's what I'm doing. Hector Paladin yesterday was an insane deck. Dog, it was insanely good. I love that deck. The more Tigris plushes, the better. Yeah, it was, re it was really good. It was really fun. The last game was looking a little bit dire because I... I had uh, the weapon and the weapon drawing guy in the same hand. I was like, fuck. No. Minus one card. I drew patches. Yeah. No problem, Sabian. No problem, man. Yeah. If I if I don't uh, answer any, any questions you have um, during the game, uh, just know that I'm, I'm just like, I'm a little bit some sometimes I get a little bit too dialed in to to playing um when I should be paying attention more to chat cuz I feel bad when I uh when I when I miss on miss out on uh responding to somebody so the last thing I want to I want you to think is that I'm ignoring you on purpose uh it's just like my it's it's my personal ignorance, right? It's it's nothing to do with you or your question, probably most of the time. And I'll do my best to um, stay more on top of it, but I'm just uh, still a little bit under the weather. I can still I, I'll still be using that excuse. I'm I'm still not feeling great. What else is what else is like? the main 
What else is the main driving force of Hunter? I think it's just tempo. Oh, no, it's the Wild Seeds. Sorry. Draft Wild Seeds. Do that. Um, draft Wild Seeds. Draft Hand Buffs. Draft Merlocula. I had, like, three of them. I had three of these. <laughs> yeah. This is a YouTube tutorial? Huh. Let's see. Yeah, it's a good valley. Yeah. Bill's is getting his 12-0 rogue run at the moment. I'm gonna get... Another 12 win death night. Hmm. Mm hmm. Alright. Let's go. Oh. I think Dr. Sitch and So is broken right now. Right? I don't think this card is working correctly. Hmm. What's wrong with it? Um, the five drop that comes out of Dr. Stitch and so doesn't have the death rattle for the three drop and the one drop. So, yeah. You want to try a triple force? I mean, it's probably better than Stitch and So, honestly. Right? Damn, I want this card so bad. Um, I, I, I think I'll take triple frost. Do, 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 do. Whoa. Why is this card so high? Anybody want to explain me that one? Why is this card so high in the draw and win rate? Interesting. Lady. 56. That's kind of a big difference, y'all. That's kind of a big difference. Why is this card so, like, performing so well? I wonder. Get this ad out of here. Um, <laughs> I mean, I kind of want to play with the, the new card. Kinda. Yeah. Curated it sets mean you'll hit some very insane quality cards. No you no I won't. Curated sets have nothing to do with the discover mechanic in the game. What are you talking about? <clears throat> I'll keep my rainbow option open. I think I'll, does my opponent know? My opponent won't know, right? All right, if this is still broken, I'm going to be upset. But I don't think Triple Frost is the way. There's almost no reason to go Triple Frost when Rainbow is so much more versatile and good. Maybe the win rate is also high because people are drafting for Rainbow. Right? And maybe because maybe the win rate on Lady Frost Whisper is bad. Sorry, Death Whisper is bad because Triple Frost is bad. Maybe that says something about the rune type. Anyways. Wow, this is a pick. Um...
I mean, I have to assume that... I mean, I know how the card is intended to work. It's like how a uh, full-time boss said. You, you... It gains a death rattle of the five... Summon the five cost, and then the five cost gets a death rattle of the three cost. Or, uh, to summon the three cost, and three cost gets the death rattle to summon the one cost. That's That's how this card is supposed to work. Okay. Relentless Warg. Rotten. Huh. Fifty six point six. Uh I think I'll take this card. It's whatever. Dog. <laughs> dog. What, what dog? Let's take an excavate. Mining casualties is very good. Hmm. Yeah. Probably merchant is tradable. Not a Golden Skeleton Crew, because I don't play on NA that much. That's why. Although it's like my main server, where I have all the dust and shit. It's tradable. This works with Mining Casualties, actually. That's a combo. It's also tradable. I kind of like it. I'll take it. I think I'll take Darkthorn here. Fifty-six point six. Hmm. Wow. That pick rate delta is really low. Probably because double and holy sucks. Most likely. Yeah. Huh. The bones. <laughs> Actually, has a pretty decent picker delta. Holy shit, that picker delta is so bad. Uh, what do you say? We do have an excavate. My instinct tells me to take the down with the ship, but <laughs> that pick rate delta is really bad. Like, um, gets picked a lot to lock in the runes. Ah, I see. Well, if I'm going for this plan, though, doesn't this get so much more value than first down with the ship? I believe so. Plagues are bait. Did you know that? I think I'll take the pile here. You excavate one time, and this card becomes, like, I would say... One and a half times as good as down with the ship. In terms of tempo. <laughs> mm. 
You pick it as a deal three, not Plague Synergy. Well, I mean, it's also just a deal three. And if you're picking Plague, uh, sorry, if you're picking Frost Strikes, then you're then you're getting a higher concentration of deal threes when you don't need them. So think about that one. Um, like you don't want that kind of a card in your in your deck, really. Brewman versus Excavation Specialist. Hey, what time is it? Thank you. What are you brewing? Quilter? Crew? Warg? It, it kind of makes sense. It, we have three cards that work with it, sort of. It does make sense. Buffs are good with this. I mean, okay, this card is bad on its own, really. Um, there are ways to send send this uh, into stardom, though. Are swarm guards even draftable? Have you seen a single swarm guard? I don't think I've seen a single Swarm Guard, so I don't think that's in. Yeah. Yeah, Swarm Guard. Nice bait. What's the deal? Zombie tanks. Zombie tanks. Uh, what is that other card called? Storm specialist. Person. D seven versus D six. I kind of want this brewmaster still. I think I still want the brewmaster. Yeah. There's Bongar Commander. Reefwalker is so good with Death Knight. Because of all the corpse corpse ability. This locks in Rainbow though. You want that? This card isn't that bad, I think. I, I maybe it's even very good. I think I lost a game because somebody played Bone Guard against me. Oh, oh, it's that good, huh? Three <laughs> percent. Okay, okay. Well, I'm just fucking about then. All right, fine. There's uh, another excavate. Oh, hey, this pile of bones is looking a little bit better now, huh? Uh, unholy frenzy with what? Pile of bones. <laughs> Let's take this. It's a good card. Okay. It's not gonna... I can't take this shitty card. Alright, this is a good card. Fist. 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 Army works with Unholy Frenzy. I have Death Strike already. I don't think I need No Muncher. Army of the Dead probably is just the best card here. 
It's also good with traveling merchant, huh? We don't have a, a five cost card either. Could use one. Also, corpse spending. If you want to think about it that way. Hmm. Lots of hundreds of demons going base. Yeah, well... Yeah, well... I mean, I still think that this is the pick. No much as a 59, negative 1.4. Uh... one percent Jesus Christ. I mean, okay. Here's another argument for your... For your lots of hunters and demon hunters going face. If they don't have minions, they can't go face as much, right? So you just play Army of the Dead, and you remove their minions, and whoa. Oh, where's your damage now? Oh. It's okay, so I don't need to heal as much anymore? Oh, that makes sense. Cool Ghoul is good with Unholy Frenzy. I also need something, like, sticky. I have plenty of removal so far. I just need good minions, I, I feel. Yeah. Mm hmm Brain? Man, hey. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Crane was really good in, in our... Um, in our 12 win death night. Oh my god. Alright. Yeah. I think I had four cranes in total. Two of them being origami crane. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this card's insane. We want it so badly. Yeah. Third excavate. What's up? <clears throat> Break the crystals versus Unholy Frenzy. Hmm. Break the crystals. Is Unholy Frenzy like okay? How much? How much removal do you, do you think we need at this point? I don't think I need this frenzy anymore, right? Crystal Broker should be good. Should be good enough here. 59%. Fifty nine percent. It's like the same thing. Crystal works with Brew and it's late game. It's also true. Synergy with Crystal Broker. So here's another here's another thing we could do. Crystal Broker on turn six, play Traveling Merchant. Crystal Broker Brew Crystal Broker is eight mana on turn ten. Yeah, I, I think I need that. I think we have a fairly large amount of removal right now. Shred the bones. Gain the death rattle of a random friendly minion like... Uh... Wait. Hey, how does that work? Hey, how does it work? Oh my god, Chase, with the 95 watch streak. How you doing, man? Five more streams till the rainbows and unicorns. It's going to have to wait until next week, though. Not sure if I'm going to be able to stream all five days either, so... Might be another week after that. No promises, Chase, but... Appreciate you hanging out for so long. Hmm. Bone Shredder. Hmm. 
How on earth does that work? How on earth does this work here? With Bone Shredder. Does it resummon a pile of bones? <laughs> that is so strange. If we get a 5-4 back, it's pretty good. Hmm. So far, I don't have that many deal threes. Are what does? Why are you asking that? I have it up on the screen. I don't think it works with Dr. Sitch and so. It has to be a minion that has an inherent death rattle. So it's only one card that works with this so far. Strike the heart. I'm honestly thinking about just taking this. As much as I as I want to make Bone Shredder work with this deck, I'm not sure if I can. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure if I can. I also don't think I have enough corpses to go around for something like this. It's another brew. It's kind of bad now, honestly. Is it? Eh, it's not that bad. We do have Cold Miner. We have a couple of things still. It's fine. Remorse. <laughs> Party Animal... Works with Warg and Quilter. We have no AoE right now, <clears throat> so I kind of need this. Fist again versus Shambling. The thing about Shambling is that it's a 2-drop. We kind of need a 2-drop. Shambling, uh, Saloon is not really a 2. Like, are you okay with Hero Powering a turn 2? I'm kind of not. So I think we have enough removal. We don't have a lot of value. Or 2-drops for that matter. But I agree this isn't the best to drop. <clears throat> it works with the Brewmasters, yeah. That eh, I I mean you're not okay, you're not gonna 
Okay, so what if we do do it on a brewmaster? <clears throat> we need five more corpses <clears throat> in order to make it work. Two mana, ten, eight is kind of good. I don't know. It 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 feels like our that we won't have enough uh, corpses to do with our. With either of these cards, really. Considering taking the fist just because it's more powerful. 61. Kind of like the same. <laughs> No, I don't think it's correct to take the take the mech here. Yeah, it's corpses, but it's just kind of a nothing card. It's just it's it's corpses. This is what this card is. It's just corpses. Why is shambling like sixty percent? I think I'll take the two drop here. Rainbow's good. <clears throat> this is really good. The gift. Take the gift here. Overstatted taunts. Corridor Sleeper. Forty eight percent drawn win rate is very low. Jesus. <laughs> oh, my God, that's so awful. <laughs> In set reviews, I was a sleeper. Did Frostry get worse because the card will expanding? No, I don't think so. I don't think it did. I mean, Frost Rune stuff is. It, it, if anything, it got better. Because you can discover Frost Queen Syndragosa. Right? Yeah. Whatever that card is called. Can you feel the cold feel of death upon your heart? Moar? Why? Why? That card is bad. 8 man 8 8. 8 man 8 8 is not great. Tar Slime kind of turns on Saloon Brewmaster as like a, a turn 2 play. 
which I'm kind of into. It works. Ghost right, the whip. Hmm. Screaming Banshee. We have Arthas Gift, Rainbow Seamstress, Death Strike for lifesteal options. Hmm. All right. Is a quarter sleeper just a basic three five? It's Yes, yes. Or whatever, whatever stats it has, it's it's that. Um, <clears throat> there's nothing. There's nothing very interesting else about it. It's gonna take a lot of minions. I mean, okay, we have we have. Where's that card called? Mining casualties to expedite that process a lot faster but th that's not really worth putting a one mana do nothing probably it wakes up in i would say maybe four plus turns so you're <clears throat> taking away a card slot in your hand taking away a mana to summon a three five at some point in the game i don't know yeah, no taunt or rush. Got some, it's got nothing. Okay, we've got an interesting deck here. It's a Stitch and Sew deck. We have three Excavates in total. We might be able to get the fourth worm here, or we, we could bring back our Cobalt Miner. Or we could bring back our um, Skeleton Crew. Yeah. Is it only your minion sign? It's any minion. Whenever a minion dies. But that's still, like, a tall ask. Even for, like, a turn one play. The Lich King versus Gul'dan. Souls shall be mine. Darkness comes on cold. Would you keep Ghost Rider in this deck? I'll keep Pile of Bones. What am I looking for? Two drops. Because this deck really lacks it. So I keep Pile of Bones for sure. Keeping Ghost Rider is interesting. I think most of our threes are playable. We should be able to find a turn three and turn four. Arco Cultus is better later on, for sure. I'll I'll keep Ghost Rider. Probably one of the one of our cards that um that'll win us the game, I would say. Did they just tap? How do you feel about this deck? Um, <clears throat> not very strongly. Honest, honest opinion. Don't forget to tip your card. Shoot the fuck out of that. 
Never mind. Hmm. I mean, they just used a one damage source. I was okay with, like, doing this. Did they tap again? What the fuck? Five wins, seven wins? I mean, I'm expecting way more than that, but whatever. We're playing with Death Knight here, so I I assume we're going to be going quite far with it. Alright, what do you want to listen to now? Hmm. How about some ambient Windows 98? Yeah, that sounds good. Wow, that's a good card. Demonic Ass Alt. So I could brew that back. This may just be my best song, yes. Remorseless. Harmonic metal. All removal options. Thinking about Heart Strike for mana efficiency on turn six. My rule, I have but little time. I don't like it. We might go Scream Banshee and Heart Strike next turn. Mm -hmm. Did I be cycling? <clears throat> My rule is eternal. Hmm. Almost certain Haggath is better, right? Because it's a hero card. Heart Strike this. Screaming Banshee. Remorseless hero power. I'm gonna threaten them with this. I understand that we're not getting the um the value off of the lifesteal girl, but I think I um 